Hi, welcome back. I'm Monica Weitzel, and we are still here at Metro East Community Media. I'm glad that you stayed with us, because tonight my last guest is Jared Hogue. He is with Mount Hood Community College. Jared is the Manager of Continuing Education and Workforce at Mount Hood. Thanks for being here, Jared. Great to be here. Thank you. So uh, you came in on a gorgeous day to talk mm -hmm. about some of the stuff that's going on at Mount Hood. And Mount Hood Community College is where Metro East actually started out. We were located there for 20-some years and now have our own building here. But we've still kept some ties with Mount Hood. And, and but you, in particular, are working with the, <coughs> um, the workforce and continuing education. What exactly does that mean? What is it you do? So I, so I oversee programs that serve our uh, lifelong learners, workforce development programs, um, our local businesses, regional businesses. So, so you're not talking about just the regular college student just out of high school. You've, you've moved beyond that. Right. We're talking about mostly our community. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. Now, part of what you're doing is uh, you're working with this new strawberry short course. Mm -hmm. It sounds, I it's kind of hard to say. Shortcake, sorry, short <clears throat> course. Okay, right. tell, me, tell me what that's about. So the Strawberry Short Course Festival, it's a community event um, where people come together and celebrate the strawberry season mm. and, uh, and enjoy some short courses and strawberry shortcake. It's a free event. Nice. And we're really excited about it. Good deal. So the strawberry season is relatively short in, it is. <laughs> in Oregon with our great hood berries and those wonderful strawberries. I'm a lifelong Portland area resident and I, I know my strawberries here. And this streak of weather may uh, throw the season off a little it bit, might, hopefully in a good way. But this will be taking place June 22nd. Correct. Right? And that's at the Mount Hood Community College campus. At the campus, it'll be uh, yes, June 22nd from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Now, um, the uh, strawberry shortcake, obviously, everybody mm -hmm. knows what that is, and that sounds really good right now. Tell me about the courses. What do, mm -hmm. Who teaches the courses? What kinds of courses can we expect? Mm -hmm. Give me a little, uh, a little info on that. It's, it's one of the most common questions we get. So really, this, is, this, this event is meant to be open to everybody, and, and it's a community event. So right now, um, most of our instructors who have signed up are from the community. Um, we, so not just, we're not talking college professors, we're no. talking just <clears throat> you, me, if I had something I wanted to share that I could do a short course on? Correct. If you have a passion, you have a skill, uh, you have a hobby that you want to share with the community, this is the perfect event. So uh, on our website, mhcc.edu slash strawberry, there's a way to sign up to, well, first of all, to RSVP to the event to get your ticket to uh, Strawberry Short Cake. And then um, if you're an instructor, you can sign up uh, fill out a short course proposal and we'll take a look at it but we're trying to make the event as open as possible. Good, good. So how many different courses do you anticipate having? We're probably, a, we're going to guesstimate it's probably around 30 to 40 this first wow. year. Um, it, I don't know if you, yeah it is a lot <laughs> yeah. and um, so we've got everything from uh, karate which we hope to do outdoors to beginning mandolin to um, basic Russian culture through Russian folk songs. Oh, cool. um, so it's, it's, it's a pretty neat event in that um, it's really a way to come together and learn something new. What I like about the, the <clears throat> ones that you mentioned is that they represent different, um, different communities within our community, mm -hmm. the Russian community mm -hmm. and, the, you know, and the martial arts would be mm -hmm. a different community. And, but they're, in this area, East County here, there is such a wide variety of ethnic groups, mm -hmm. races, um, there, we have a huge immigrant population. It'd be great to be able to have some of that represented and have people come and actually, you know, learn something yeah. about maybe their neighbors and, or, you know, sure. the other businesses in the area, that kind of thing. We're welcoming everybody and we actually have um, events for kids too. That's my next question. You yeah, just, it's you a great just, segue, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, that was lovely. Right. So tell um, me, what do, what do you have for kids? So this is a family event. Yeah, we're still building it. And right now we've got snow cone machine, 4-H petting zoo. Oh, uh, everybody we're do loves face a petting painting, zoo. Scavenger hunt, craft tables. If the weather's not great, that's going to be a perfect day, I'm sure. I'm, I have no doubt. Not, if the weather's not great, we're going to plan to do some things that'll be more indoor friendly, like yeah. possibly show a movie or something yeah. in the theater. Um, so yeah, we're excited and we're, again, even if you've got ideas, if the community has ideas about various uh, events for kids, we'll take it on. Okay, so, so it is still, you, it's a, over, well, it's like a month and a half away, so right. you have plenty of time for people if they're interested in being, um, uh, teaching a course mm -hmm. or attending. Mm -hmm. What about, um, it seems like I read something about you had some nonprofit vendors that might be there. Yeah, well, actually, any vendor, we're, we're open to profit and nonprofit. So if you're a small business or a large business and you want to promote, um, set up a table, a booth, and um, 
show off, so to speak. And uh, yeah, we, we've got some community organizations that are going to be there, Good. some small craft um, vendors that will be there, some food. What's, what's really neat about this day is that there's two other events going on on campus the oh. same day. What, um, we have, uh, it's, there's a Portland food cart, summer food cart uh, festival going mm -hmm. on on campus. <laughs> and that actually starts, uh, there's a VIP entrance, I think, at noon, but it starts at 2 o'clock. Oh. And there's also a uh, Bye Bye Birdie presentation by the Fame Academy. Oh, a famous, wonderful. Know, I've, awesome. I've, I've interviewed them before. Yeah, they're great. So literally, you can, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's you just uh, hang out at the college uh, all yeah, day long. Hang out there I think all day. That's great. Oh, wonderful. That's good. And you got lots of parking there, and it'll be it'll be good. Free parking. Free parking. Hey, that's yes, even better. For I know. My favorite price. Good deal. Well, while I have you here, mm -hmm. um, Jared, tell me what what are some other things that are going on at the college that maybe people don't sure. know about? Well, there's a sprint triathlon going on at the end of May. Mm. That's on campus. So. Um, I wow. think the swimming is going to take place in a pool. I, I don't think it's in the are you, pond. Are you competing so in that one? I'm not. I'm not going <laughs> to compete in that one, no. Yeah, uh, I think those days are behind me. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, we have graduation, GED, GED graduation, I believe, is June 14th, and then uh, the commencement is June 15th. Um, so those are... Yeah. And you have a new events. president coming in? We have a new president coming yeah, in at the beginning of the fiscal year. It's wow. uh, Deborah yeah. Durr, so right. Dr. Deborah Durr, I'm excited to meet her. I haven't yeah. had the opportunity yet. Good, good. Lots of cool things going on. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me again a little bit about your, um, your continuing education, your workforce, mm -hmm. and working with the communities. If somebody was interested in working, say I have a business in, mm -hmm. in the area, yeah. and I want to work with Mount Hood, what kinds of things might you do <clears> for me? So. One of the things that one of our partnerships or one of our programs is the Small Business Development Center. Um, they recently located, relocated, uh, I believe it's on 501 North Hood Avenue. Okay. Um, so they... Right downtown yeah, Gresham. Yep, downtown yeah. Gresham. Uh, the SBDC serves small businesses, um, people who are interested in starting a business, um, growing a business. They offer workshops and um, seminars, uh, consultants to help people grow and so a lot of this is, is free or low some cost? Some of it's free. Some of it's uh, through the national um, SBA programs, through mm -hmm. state oh, okay. initiatives. Um, some of them are, are fee-based, but um, there's a pretty pretty wide variety of courses, at, you know, even things like QuickBooks and social media yeah. for small business. So if you're a small business owner, it's a really nice resource. Um, we also uh, provide resources to our, our uh, medium to large employers in our region. Mm -hmm. We um, for example, we do customized training services, so we're able to sit down with the uh, employers in our region and learn about what some of their challenges are with their workforce. And um, sometimes we're able to bring in a subject matter expert or somebody with uh, oh. industry experience. And whether so it's a pre pre training assessment, post training assessment, or just uh, analyze their workforce challenges. So kind of a go between between you know th these are your problems and here's your solution and we'll help you get there. Absolutely, and we're able to work with WorkSource, uh, Portland okay. Metro East. Yeah. Sure. and uh, work, work Systems Inc. and some other organizations to leverage and pool resources and um, help them be more successful. Good. Hey, that's, all, that's always, that should be everyone's goal, be more that's successful. Right. Before I let you go, Jared, uh -huh. anything else that we should know about what's going on at Mount Hood Community College or the short course that we haven't touched on tonight? Um, well, I just would encourage people to go to the website and get involved in, uh, for the short course festival. Um, we've got, it's a really great opportunity. Again, we're trying to bring people together. Uh, it's going to be a fun-filled day. Um, it seems like pe there's probably people out there that have things that they could teach that they may never have thought about doing that before. You know, absolutely. that you think, well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really good at this. I know how to do this, but I've never thought about sharing that with somebody. Well, I was thinking about the earlier segment on the Art Walk, all those people that are, are passionate about art. Maybe they have something they right. want to set up a vendor booth or maybe just teach a class on jewelry making or yeah, whatever the Yeah, sure. I, you know, I was, people don't always think of themselves as teachers, but you know, there, there's the opportunity <clears throat> to share your knowledge. That's a great opportunity to do that. And heck, you might even find your, your next calling, you know, the <laughs> next right. part of your life, you could, you could just be a teacher. And I would add, it's not just our Strawberry Short Course Festival, but also our community education program is taught by experts in the community. I mean, so... This might uh, be a good way to get a foot yeah. in the door and find out more about that too. Yeah, and, and then and what the short course will hopefully do is kind of be a teaser. So find out what people are interested in and if, if it's a way to get people's feet wet and connect okay. with the college and start teaching a course. Wonderful. Love it. Thank you very much, Jared. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching this uh, episode of Community Hotline. We've enjoyed having you with us tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back here next week, so... 
We'll see you then. I'm Monica Weitzel, and this is Community Hotline.